Well, 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 it appears we got another box of pops, or this time, bag of pops once again. There's only three pops in here, but we'll take a look at them anyways. They did come from a supplier, a uh, safe supplier that I mainly have been going ever since the start of my Funko career. So, let's take a look at the pops, shall we? Starting off, we've got a continuation of the 2022 Galactic Convention Pops. Now, at this point in time that you're seeing this video, they should probably be officially out, at least the majority of them. Another two to add to the set, we have Chewbacca and the Stormtrooper. And of course, these are on their new metallic bases and hence why they are, they are in their black box and they are part of these Galactic Convention events. Now, of course, it's not all over yet. I still am missing a couple. For one, that there is still the Darth Vader that's still out there. And then there's Lando on the Millennium Falcon. So those two are the ones I'm missing. And then we are left with just one more pop. And this pop is right here. This is Professor Charles Xavier, AKA Professor X from X-Men. And yeah, he was a great pop. Um, I wanted to get this character for some time already, so eventually the seller managed to get one for me, and here we are with it. The Really, the real reason why I wanted to get this pop was because of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Of course, this is the exact Professor X we got in the movie. Yellow chair, green suit, straight out of the TV show. So this is your most comic accurate, not even comic accurate, movie accurate pop to the movie. That's literally it. That's the three pops I picked up from the supplier. Thank you to him once again, and uh, see if I can get the other Darth Vader Funko Pop. That's it for this one. Okay guys, I've got a bag here. I went to GameStop today, and it was like very early in the morning. I kind of I kind of have to, I have to stop filming in stores now for my shopping trips. And it's not just because I don't want to, it's just, it's really, really difficult for me to carry stuff and film at the same time. Also because uh, the times I go, is usually not the busiest hours of the store. So it's just like me and the people who work in the store. So it tends to get kind of awkward if one of their customers is just walking around their store with a camera filming their stuff. So I went to GameStop today and I picked up a couple things. Well, I, re I mainly went to GameStop to check if my if the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness Pops release, because I did have them on pre-order, and they are not in the store yet, so I went there, and the, since I was there anyways, I looked through, grabbed some stuff, and I just want to waste my effort of going there, so. Let me show you some of the things I got. The first pop that showed up from GameStop is the ad icon. This is the Pringles dude. Pringles was definitely one of them. Yeah, you know what, I'll add it to my collection. He's, he's He just looks absolutely amazing with the little chip. And he looks very adorable. This is a perfect, <laughs> this is a perfect pop for the collection. Next up, one singular soda. There was only one sitting there. It was all out of stock online, so I had to go in the store to check. And they had one left. This is the Rick from Rick and Morty soda. And last, but definitely not the least, and this is actually my first uh, poster. It's a poster pop, I forgot what it's called. It's like a poster pop thing. So this one I picked up here is Master Chief and it's a GameStop exclusive. So of course it has a Halo poster in the background. I picked it up for $22.49, which, which is not bad because last time I saw it at another store, it was like 40 something. So I don't know what's up with the price. Uh, GameStop, you might want to double check your prices on these guys, but of course, as I've said, we are going to open up the Rick Soda in this clip. Alright, fingers crossed it's a comment, but hey, it'll be nice to get the chase, but what I'm really looking for here is the comment, so hopefully that is the case. So let's pull this away, let's not look at the pog and get spoiled for the suspense. We're not even going to feel, like, this feels heavy. Please be common. Please. Yes, thank God it's common. Honestly, it is to be expected. I shouldn't be too surprised. But of course, if it was indeed a chase, I would definitely be very, very surprised. I'm one of those people who hasn't seen Rick and Morty. You guys were going to probably bash me in the comments for it, but I don't know what he's holding. So if you do know, let me know in the comments. Here it is. Here's the artwork. And... 
Rick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I am back in the studio. First and foremost, this is probably the biggest one, Black Bolt. This store had that Black Bolt going for $20, which is great because all my local suppliers have been increasing the price for it and selling it for like, I think at least $80 each. The reason I got this Black Bolt pop is to complete my Illuminati sets. I have been trying to collect the members of the Illuminati for Multiverse of Madness. And of course, the easiest one is Master Moro. He is in that line of pops. But of course, I also grabbed uh, Professor X, Mr. Fantastic, and Captain Carter was quite easy. The what if pops were, they had like three different versions of Captain Carter. And then there's another Captain Carter coming for the Multiverse of Madness lineup. So, but PX Previews exclusives. And yeah, so that was really the main goal. I, I knew that the, that store had this pop. That's kind of why I went there in the first place. But some other pops I picked up includes this guy. This is T'Challa Star-Lord from the What If line, but this is the metallic version. This does have the special edition sticker. I believe there's the other types of the metallics. T'Challa Star-Lord has like a box lunch exclusive sticker or some other sticker. But the one I got here is the special edition sticker, which is fine. I don't really care much about stickers in the first place, but yeah, last but definitely not the least, this one is definitely an also an unexpected find, but a welcoming one to be sure. This is the Chrome Red Boba Fett. I never even bothered collecting Chrome Red Mandalorian Pops in the first place, and I knew about this pop, I knew they were going to do a Chrome Red Boba Fett, but of course, like the T'Challa Star-Lord, I didn't go out of my way to get it. This is pretty good, even though it's, you know, it's chrome red, of course it's not going to be accurate, but it's still pretty good, just regardless. So, yeah, those are the three pops I got from that store. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>